Diane and I work with Ross on Fiverside Chess and we have our battling suicide bus which we take around the country. We're here at Morrison's today in Morecambe. We're working with Karen who's the community champion here. We really love Morecambe and we work with several projects across the area including the Morecambe Playhouse in the West End and the new Morecambe Hobby Hub. Karen very kindly invited us to bring the bus along to Morrison's car park here. So we're talking to her about how we can all work together in the Morecambe community. We've taken the bus all around the country, so starting from Cambridge, up to Edinburgh, Glasgow, back down to Morecambe, Liverpool, Bath, Oxford. We take the bus into all sorts of different places, supermarket car park, like Morrison's, and festivals, we're at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. We've taken it into homeless shelters, into schools, outside prisons, anywhere really where we're going to meet people within the community, real people working on real projects. We use our five-a-side chess sets just as an ice-breaking tool to talk to people. <laughs> we work with everybody and anybody. We're interested in meeting with people who are doers within the community and who are actually making a difference. And we're spreading a message of awareness about the importance of the need to talk. You can see on the bus, the bus has been signed by more than 300 messages to people who have taken their own lives that say, I just wish we'd talk, I just wish you had said what was wrong. We believe that loneliness and social isolation lead to mental health problems, lead to depression, and that can lead to suicide. The important thing for us is getting people at an early stage where they can still make a difference within their own lives. Oh, do do? Loneliness literally kills. Men particularly don't just sit <laughs> down and say, oh, you know, how are you today? The answer is okay. generally going to be fine. They actually need a tool, whether that is five-a-side chess, because it's an icebreaker. They don't have to eyeball each other. And what you tend to find is just over a few moves, then people start to open up. So in McDonald's, she says, I'm doing my project and one of you playing me at chess and one of the lads comes over. And so it's her getting off her phone and managing to talk to older and younger people, her meeting people and learning, it's only 50 seconds, but it's learning social skills, not social media skills. We're not really about chess. We're not trying to make chess champions here. We use it because it's a common language. Chess is played all over the world and therefore so it doesn't matter if you actually speak the same language or not, you can still communicate with each other through playing a game of chess. Chess also has lots of mental health benefits, it has positive benefits for people suffering from things like ADHD, from dementia and, and lots of life skills that translate from chess to real life. So that's why we use chess but simply really as an ice-breaking tool. And we have our Help Yourself programme, which takes some of those life lessons. As you're playing your games of chess, think about those lessons, follow the guide, think ahead to your next move. So my, my daughter, for example, took chess sets out to Zambia. She was actually out there with VSO and she was doing work on sexual health. They have a massive problem with AIDS and with teenage pregnancy. She was using the chess sets to get them thinking about the consequences of their actions. You can think about that through chess because you can quite easily see when someone takes your piece, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I could have protected myself better if I had just thought ahead to the next move, then I could have taken their piece rather than the other way around. If you then think about how that translates to real life, okay, if, if I had done this, then perhaps she wouldn't be pregnant. But all of us as adults could stop and think about things we could have done differently. And I think it's really important that children have these conversations where it doesn't have to be with their parents, it could be with their grandparents or a teacher or football coach, even just each other, that actually these are things that they start to think about. 
For us, this is our journey. We've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people around the country about all sorts of issues that people are having with their lives and this is a guide that we've put together that we believe that talking through these points could make a difference. For us, we really have to find community champions like Karen, people who really do want to make a difference in their community because we're just a tiny little team with one battling suicide bus. We can't be everywhere. So we need to work with those community champions so that they can take it on within their own communities. And this is our final stage of understanding Celebrate Difference and we're absolutely all about celebrating difference. So this is about understanding yourself and understanding others uh, as well. And therefore, the more you understand, the, the kinder you're going to be to other people.